showing the battery sign. It's showing the battery sign? And they say don't buy Toyotas. <laughs> they run forever, over a million miles. How does the car need a battery like this already? How is that even possible? The door open sign's open, and he thinks the battery sign. I don't even know how he has a job. So we have a brand new uh, Rolls Royce Phantom, beautiful car. This thing needs a battery already, so I'm not sure why and how so early, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and replace the battery, put a brand new one in, and give it right back to the customer. Battery lights on. Your brain light is on. It says replace battery. Your, it says replace brain on your back. All right, right here we got a Phantom 8. Customer just got it from the dealer. Wants to change it up. We're gonna go stealth mode on it. Full satin black with gloss black features. It's gonna be really, really dope. It's like this brownish gray color right now. A little oldy, so we're gonna change it up for him. He's a younger guy. We're gonna make it really dope for him and make it two-tone black. big project this is getting a 1016 industries wide body kit just like my car as you can see the hood is already on there it's not closed but forged carbon is the theme on this one we are wrapping it currently with this really badass bright yellow color so super excited to do a yellow wide body here it's gonna be very different we have a lot to go on this thing we just started on it we're gonna knock it out quickly and efficiently we're gonna be doing the brakes yellow to match it up the wheels are gonna be crazy you guys already know we built the baddest wide body cars in the world so this thing is gonna look insane when we're done you guys don't make money to buy fucking gums <laughs> but you gotta make money to buy cigarettes $800 a month hmm? well i don't smoke Sarki really... spends $800 you guys smoke you Sarkis, get a cigarette for someone Sarkis else. Smokes, Sarkis spends a lot of money on cigarettes, yes. Yeah, you, you guys are stupid. That's a car payment right there. He says pay $800 a month. If Sarkis didn't spend that much money on cigarettes, he would have been able to drive a Lamborghini Aventador. Right for sure. <laughs> we need to have Sarkis back on the show. They miss him. Sarkis. Yeah. Sarkis, they miss Sarkis. So we have a Bentley. Bentayga. Okay, so we have a Bentley uh, Bentayga here. Uh, this car came in to uh, get the brake inspection done and tires. So after doing the inspection, this car needed front and rear brakes. Uh, that's done, all original parts obviously from Bentley. And we also did two tires on the car. That's good to go. So now we're on a quick test drive. We don't have any noise. Everything's nice and smooth. And a customer is gonna be here probably right before six to pick it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Hold it, hold it. Yeah, let it go. Go, yeah, yeah. Fine. <laughs> He's overheating. He's so hot. Are you okay? Yeah. He's very really hot. I got. I started sweating because I was fighting. <laughs> you, uh, the heat attracted to you. Take it back. Start it. Go press it now. Go. It's sampling. No, 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 no. Is it good? When it says okay, you have to press it. No, it's this, not gonna this start. Thing is up, yeah. When you said okay, it was I, I did it it's right not, when it says it's okay. It's still sampling. It's measuring it. Okay, you have to take drunk. it off. You have to take it off. I have no choice. Take this shit off. <laughs>
wide body Lamborghini Urus. So this thing is bright. It's a very, very different build spec than mine. As you guys know, we've done already three of them, two white ones and a black one. This would be our fourth one, which is yellow. It's a really, really dope yellow. I don't know how the camera's gonna get it. It's a very bright yellow, almost like a sunflower, actually. This is the full 1016 Industries forged carbon wide body kit. We got everything the kit has except the rocker panels. Rocker panels, as you can see, they're still the stock rocker panels. Customer wanted to leave those as is, so we wrapped them and we did the molding black. But you still see the exposed forged carbon fiber everywhere, including the entire hood. Uh, we made the roof black, so it's got like that black flow on top of the vehicle front lip wide like mine however there's a few details we got to talk about that is not completed here we finished this car in one week we started on monday we finished it on friday the wheels for this car these are not actual wheels for this this is for another wide body years so we are currently building so we threw these on there because we had them unfortunately the wheels being built right now by forgiato for this car which are going to be Pretty funky because this build is all about yellow and black. That's a little hint on what the wheels are gonna look like. Forgiato's way behind schedule. They're super busy, so their time frames got a little messed up, but we still wanted to film the car finished to show you guys. Normally we could finish a wide body years within a week. So pretty crazy. This is also lowered. Again, it's not lowered as much as my car, okay? So my car, super aggressive setup. This thing is a mild setup. We're gonna be changing that when the wheels come. We're gonna lower more. However, when we lower more, we have to cut up the flares on the vehicle on the underside. These flares come completely filled up, so when the wheel goes up, it could hit it. The back offset is not maxed out on this car because of that reason. Some guys like it like this, some guys want it aggressive like mine. So we're going to be changing that in the next coming week. We're going to be making this even more aggressive. The whole car will actually change a lot with that aggressive stance. Still really beautiful car, no exhaust, no tune, nothing else, literally it's stock except for the wrap, the wide body kit, and the lowering, of course the wheels. Brakes were painted yellow, we're going to be putting black Lamborghini stickers on them, they're not ready yet. Again, we wanted to finish this car really fast to show you guys on YouTube. On the way here, we had an encounter with a blue Eurus stock, he was following us, he wanted to see this thing, this is super bright on the street and it's wide, so when you're in a stock Eurus and you see this thing, you want to check it out so he followed us checked out the car we have the other wide body yours coming up and this one is going to get a little bit more mods but yeah stay tuned and check it out look really nice on Eurus's, but I'm opting to go with a non-color for my car. I've been thinking about so many colors, but uh, I'm gonna do something that's not colorful, but it's still gonna be very unique and um, not done often because it is an expensive type of wrap. I think it's gonna match the Eurus really good. I've been thinking about it so much. Hopefully within the next two weeks I get that done. But again, customer cars are more important than mine currently. We have so many cars waiting for a wrap. Uh, we have a Raptor we're gonna be wrapping up next, which is gonna be a really dope color. A color that I got for myself, but I did not use it. We're gonna be wrapping a Phantom, a Phantom 8. We're gonna be finishing up a really dope G-Wagon, S-Class. There's so many wraps in line that it's crazy. A 4x4 G-Wagon waiting for a wrap. So many, but um, Another thing I wanted to mention is that we're super thankful for you guys and your support. We sold out on the McLaren masks within a few hours when we dropped them. We only had a hundred of them. We sold it out real quick. We have a lot of guys asking for more. We might be making some more because it was very high demand and it matches that really dope McLaren sticker that everybody wants. However, we are coming out with another mask, limited edition for another car we did that's in production. So we'll release that soon. Really dope stuff. We're trying to do merchandise a really, really unique way, fun, enjoyable for you guys. So putting some time into that too. RDB shoes I wanted to also talk about. A lot of people asking me what's going on with that. Obviously everything kind of went to a halt in Spain because of the coronavirus. They reopened and production resumed. We are actually almost done. June 22nd is going to be the pre-launch. So about one week 
We're gonna have the pre-launch. You gotta go to rdvshoes.com to go sign up for the wait list. As soon as June 22nd comes out, you'll get emailed the password and you will be able to order RDB shoes already. So you guys saw some of it, we're gonna be teasing more shoes, but that's coming out too. I'm really excited for that. And again, thank you for the support. Done for the day, back at it tomorrow.